so the Amazon app, you know, is, is pretty similar um, with search. Uh, you know, here we go, it, it starts filtering out um, episode or content that that's available in Amazon. Uh, and you can see I can just rent the content directly from uh, the Roku. Now, in order to do that or sign, you know, use any of these premium services that require payment, basically what happens is you, you add the channel uh, to your home screen, and when you go into the channel, it tells you uh, a five-digit or so alphanumeric code and a URL. And you go to the URL and uh, you go ahead and um, enter the code in and then your Roku will now be linked with that service and you know your associated payment account. Um, yeah, and you can just go ahead and browse through you know according to these categories or use the search, uh, access to your own library. Um, yeah, and I did go ahead and watch uh, an entire movie. It was an SD movie uh, that I actually got for as part of purchasing a Blu-ray, but because I was watching, uh, uh, reviewing the Roku, I thought I would try it out, and it worked pretty well. Uh, there were a couple instances of macro blocking, um, nothing too too bad, probably due to Amazon server or internet connection, something of that nature. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is, um, you know, the Amazon, uh, as well as Netflix and Hulu Plus, uh, when you stream the content, you don't have any sort of surround sound. Uh, you know, maybe that's not such a big deal. Um, when you're using streaming content. Um, but I, I personally would prefer to uh, watch the content in surround sound. And you can see it's similar to the Netflix uh, video playback. So I think that does it for Amazon.